everyone, and welcome Hi. back to Podunk Punch. Uh, I'm your host, or one of your hosts, <laughs> rather. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's it's one of those days. I'm, I, I'm drained. I was up till 5 a.m. watching mm -hmm. uh, cartoons on Netflix. Because oh, yeah. I'm a person with a healthy lifestyle. And I only live in the healthiest of ways. Which includes watching DC cartoons from the mid 2000s. <laughs> I've just been grinding on Overwatch, <laughs> trying uh, to get all the Olympic items before the event ends. Because they're doing like summer Olympics. Right, right. And like you can only get the items until like the 20 seconds, so I'm like, I have to get all of them. <laughs> I see. Other yeah. than that, I've just been marathoning elementary because <laughs> I finally finished it. Is it any good? I... It's so good. It's so good. I just finished yeah. season four. It's already had four seasons? Yeah, and the Jeez. next season comes out in October. Yeah, I remember seeing that on TV because it was around the time I think... Because it's, it's been around for a couple of... <laughs> there wow. you go. Wow, thanks for that. That was on me. Oh, whatever. Anyway, um... But yeah, I remember that show came out around a time that Sherlock was still popular with a lot of my friends in high school mm -hmm. who were... Yeah, a lot of people crapped on that show because of Sherlock. And I watched Elementary, I'm like, this is like a million times better than Sherlock. Really? How's yeah, that? it's so much better. Mm -hmm. Watson's way better, Sherlock's... They actually have character development, which Sherlock didn't have. I would probably comment that this is something I need to comment about. Okay. That's like the best... Sherlock is your creepy yeah, that I've ever seen. Yeah. And the the plot and everything is so much more in depth. It focuses way more on his like drug problem and his struggles with yeah. it. It's just so much more real than all the other ones. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'll have to check it out then. Plus my issue with Sherlock was always that they didn't really develop. Like they pretty much stayed the same from start to finish. Which is kind of the same with all of Stephen Moffat's characters. Like, they just never change. Right. And Stephen Moffat also wrote Doctor Who stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Whoa. Okay. okay, so... Uh, we're... we're uh, uh, okay, so I guess holding on to those for a certain amount of time leads the stream to <laughs> roll up. But luckily, I cannot die. I cannot be killed. I am invincible. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. To, apologies to our engineer. Go ahead. Alright. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, mean, I've been, I have friends who've been like, oh, I'll help you marathon your or marathon uh, Doctor Who, because it, everything I've seen, it looks fine. Yeah, it's fine until Stephen Moffat comes in. When he's like a background, like, he started Call out. Yeah, Moffat. He started out as like the not lead writer, uh -huh. and then he became lead let writer, and then the show just went downhill. Like, I could not get into it. I like the new Doctor, but, like, it's still his writing, so I'm like, nope. I see. I truly believe he'd be able to watch the Like, I cannot, like, you get into Doctor Who as much as it sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. I can't watch it. Um, as well as, um, the other, like, Sherlock uh, one mm -hmm. on uh, Netflix. Right. I couldn't ever watch either, and then when I got into elementary, it was just like one of those shows that it starts off so good that it ends up just like, it keeps going and it yeah. keeps rolling with you. Hmm. Cool. And it doesn't sugarcoat anything. Yeah. Like, it's great. Plus it doesn't just rehash old Sherlock stories like Sherlock does. <laughs> Sherlock is just like all of the original Sherlock stories, and yeah. like I already know how these turn out. Yeah, I guess that's the thing about iconography. Then, like you know, Superman fights Lex Luthor, Batman fights Joker. Yeah, that kind of thing. You gotta have your was it Moriarty? Yeah. What do you think of the Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock movies? I think they're okay. I yeah. still like them better than Sherlock. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Again, I cannot say since I've only watched like a few episodes of the Sherlock series. And There's only a few episodes. Right. I think I've seen like the first two, and I don't even remember what happened in the second mm. episode. Um. But yeah, um, those movies, the Robert Downey Jr. ones, are 
Those are very fun. Yeah. Those are very, very similar. <laughs> yeah. And that director is oh, just hi, very hit or miss. Yeah. Like he did that um, Man from Uncle movie very recently. Don't even shit on that movie because <laughs> I love it so much. Why do you love that movie? I adore it. Why do you love That's that movie? That's like my aesthetic. That's like <laughs> 60 <laughs> spies and like. Uh -huh. Oh my god, Elia is so Oh my good. god, wait, this is my favorite thing. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> all right. I don't know, I just love that movie. Yeah. I love everything about that movie. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's funny that... I, I just think that's particularly an interesting uh, <laughs> contrast of, okay. you know, I don't like so-and-so because it doesn't have character development. Meanwhile, Man from Uncle is... I thought those of, had great characters. It, it has kind of one good character for me, uh, which is surprisingly Army Hammer's character as a Russian. Yeah. Because he actually has like a I feel yeah, like he actually has a Yeah, they really focus on him during that movie. Yeah. How did we miss the first one? I have no idea. And that's extremely disappointing. I'm but sad. um but yeah, I like I was surprised because Army Hammer and everything I've seen him like he was good in the social network as Yeah, the, that's the only the, other thing I know him from. Yeah. Uh, he was in Lone Ranger, which is Oh I didn't see that. <laughs> which is <everyone's. laughs> I made a point of not seeing that. <laughs> I can I can theorize why. Um, other than the fact that it looked like garbage. <laughs> but I digress. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting him to be as good as he was. Uh, mm -hmm. Alicia Vikander, meh, good actress, just kind of nothing to do in that movie. Henry Cavill, though, in that movie, as <laughs> the American guy, is just like, oh, hello, I am American man. I will be American man throughout the whole movie. Look at how <laughs> suave I am. Which is actually kind of impressive, considering that... He's more charismatic there than he is as Superman. <laughs> yeah. Where it's just like, ah, you're, you're the Man of Steel, and you're so boring <laughs> as the Man of Steel. Yeah, I just love that movie, and the soundtrack's so good. Um, yeah. That's one of the only movie soundtracks I bought. Probably the thing that made me like the most agitated while watching that movie was the the big climactic break-in scene, how it was done in montage. I liked that, okay. It, it was just like this big moment, and it's just like, why are we, why I do it like that. this? <laughs> All the other action scenes are just kind of like, hey. I, don't know, I like his cinematography choices like that, with like with the scene when they broke into the safe. Okay, when he finally one. opens the door, and the camera's on the door, so you see it like slowly swing open. Yeah. And then it just stops on Ilya, and I'm like, yes. Garrett is a very hit or miss kind of director, and sometimes he makes something really good. Uh, I love his, it. Yeah. Oh, gosh. He has another one coming out soon that I can't quite Oh, does he? Uh, yeah. I can't remember what it is for the life of me. And we talked about um, Split, though. M. Night Shyamalan's next movie. I avoid him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, no. Oh, is this auto scroll? Yay! Oh no! Yay. Okay, <laughs> audience. Two of my least favorite things in video games: time <laughs> limits and auto scrolling. I why? I, I I don't understand auto scrolling because I never have fun with it. It just makes me feel like I'm rushing. And and especially when it's just like it, it's not like a racing game. It's a platformer. I don't know. I have to be in a rush for something like this. Who knows? And it's always the worst when it's like, because I'm very much a completionist, so whenever it's like, oh, uh, you only have this brief window of time to go to this thing because it's going to move, it's just like, fuck you. I hate having to replay this level and over it again just because I s missed one thing for a brief second. <sighs> Whatever. That, that's, that's me ranting. That's probably the most angry you'll hear me get on this show for <laughs> quite some time. So we start talking about Suicide Squad. Oh, okay. Which I'd rather not. Which I'd rather not. I wouldn't. Okay, be you need to. to you need to break that spell. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, you are you are savior. Yay. Oh, I wanted the question mark, but whatever. Uh, oh, it stopped. Yep. I guess Thank we you. just have to get those. Things. I'm just getting this far. Okay, we can just oh, go in the door. door. Yeah. Woo! Yay! But yeah, so um, M. Night's next movie is going to be called Split. It stars James McAvoy as a man with 23 different personalities. Oh. Which is exactly the kind of role James McAvoy does, because he only does movies where he gets to have fun. Like that um, Victor Frankenstein movie. <laughs> because of it, it, he's a, a talented actor, but he likes to do stuff that's just like... 
doesn't have to be a good roll. It doesn't have to be an Oscar-winning roll. It just has to be a roll that I can ham up if I want to. Mm. And in that trailer, it's just him going, like, every which way with each of the character personality traits. <laughs> and it's like, this person kidnaps, like, a couple of girls, and they're all, like, waiting in anticipation oh, for the Beast, okay. which I guess is one of the personalities of... James McAvoy. But the way that they explain it in the trailer is um, a lady who's like, you know, uh, basically like the Dr. Loomis character from like Halloween, but for a psychiatrist. She's just sort of like, uh, you know, someone with uh, dissociative identity disorder can change the brain, their body chemistry with their thoughts. I'm like, that's what? not accurate at all. No. But what it looks like they're going to do is literally have James McAvoy turn into a monster. And I kind of hope that is the thing that happens. Because <laughs> that would make watching that all the more hilarious. Yeah, knowing Shyamalan will probably go in that direction. Yeah. Shyamalan has an interesting thing mm -hmm. with people with disabilities and mental disorders. I don't think he quite understands it, but he finds nope. it fascinating. I think a lot of writers are like that. Yeah. Oops. That's a, that was mostly every student film when I was in <laughs> high school, because uh, it's so weird. My teachers acknowledge the fact that like all the movies that like my classmates and I wanted to make when we were in our film classes were all dark and all miserable <laughs> and depressing and like really ambitious. That's how my writing class was. Yeah, it was like oh, and this, he was the killer the whole time, and they're both Ooh. the same person. Oh, sorry to <laughs> steal you from your balls, but. Okay. They're just like, can you can you guys have fun? Like, it, like all you guys are talking about is like murder and serial killers okay. and like distrust and stuff. It's like, can you guys like make like a comedy or what? It was very yeah. It was I very only odd. did that once in my writing classes, and it's because I wanted to play around with second person, which uh, was the only reason the professor really liked it. Oh uh, right. But then like half the class hated it because it was in second person. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. But it was the only time I tried to be the edge lord. <laughs> like, oh, did we goof up? I think you did. Uh, yeah. I was just following you. Yeah, because that, that okay, that was annoying. Is they put a spring bounce there that if you jump on it, you will likely get sent up back into the atmosphere. What? Oh, you got in my way. Yeah, I know. Yay! Okay, here I think we have to make a stairwell for ourselves. Okay. So I'll go over here and get some ball. Ooh, big ball. Left. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. Uh, MLG punch. This is this is how the pros play games. Okay, so yeah. Phew. <laughs> Got it. Man, you died like my like marginally off screen. That is oh. absurd. Okay, well, okay. I'll I'll just take the lead then. Wait. No. No! What is <laughs> What is this game? What is this game? What is this game? I don't know. Okay. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I don't know. I think just being raised on shows that are just like Ow. edgy and dark. Ooh. He's a good guy, but he's also a serial <laughs> killer. That's why I always think it's funny with like Overwatch fan stuff. They always make uh, Reaper like they always make him do like really goofy, innocent things or just like really feminine things. And I'm like, yes. uh, <laughs> guess he's like the edge lord of the game. Where are we supposed to go? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Fuji, help us! <laughs> We're going in circles. Uh. Nikki, do you see what we're doing wrong? Are we doing something wrong? We're doing everything wrong. Yay. Is there a, okay, can you give us something constructive this time? Yeah, I thought not. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> do you think we have to keep- no, there's no- There's something over thing. here? Okay, well, okay. It says up. Oh! Game came to us. It's a secret. Okay, can you- hold on. Alright, hold on, I have to jump over there. But, it's what? a secret for another episode. Oh, okay, so we'll find out what's behind this deceitful trapdoor next time on... You ruined the surprise. <laughs>